but we in Shock Studios. This is where the album was mixed at. Um, so we gonna take y'all in, show y'all how we been working, how we been getting down. Let's go. Yes, I'm an artist, yeah. but I'm not just music no. A voice on a record, no. homie, I'm a human So let me let you in, let you see the strain And the hurt and the pain, yes, it comes with the fame But I am not the artist Shout out to all the artists, and fans is true to us yeah. Hello to all the bloggers, Hello. how you doing, reviewers? You the name of the new album is Growing Pains And, um, I felt like it was a fitting title for where I am in life uh, what was going on with me in life and um, I think it's a reflection of what every believer experiences and it's funny because the way the album directly applies to me is um, well first I was reading Hebrews and um, I was just rocked by the idea of um, Christ being made perfect through suffering um, I'm paraphrasing but that's pretty much what the text says and um, then I started to look at my own life and growing pains fits me particularly and you know just having to, to leave my city if anybody heard my last album City Lights you know my burden for St. Louis for this city and having to move there and be in a whole different environment be removed from all of my family friends accountability um, it was difficult for, for, for me my wife as well as my kids and uh, what we began to notice that following God um, especially in that particular instance had a lot of pain that came along with it in this transition but we've also seen the growth that God has been causing in us through that very pain <laughs> Tony on a guitar killing it right now welcome this is what we do man you know Tony heard something that wasn't great and he said, let me make it great. Hello to all the bloggers. How you doing, reviewers? You should know that we're human. And his voice is your listen. It's a husband and father. A brother and a Christian. Growing Pains was a lot different when it came to writing in comparison to City Lights. Um, Growing Pains was easier. It was funner. I was doing things that I just really wanted to try to do and was enjoying doing. And, um... And really, every single song on Growing Pains comes from a personal place in my heart. You bring me, you bring me, you bring me, you It's the studio. Them J vocals y'all hearing in the background. Shout out to J. Make sure y'all pick up a joint culture shock. She murdered the album. Growing Pains, baby, let's go. Whenever I work on an album, I write from where I am right then. Like, I don't, like, this is where I am right now. Next year, I may not, my, my, my album may sound sonically and everything different. Because I may be in a completely different place in life, right? But when I was writing Growing Pains, like, I wasn't hype and excited. Like, I wasn't, I didn't want to get crumped. Like, I was in a reflective place in life. I was thinking about myself, my sin, my family, my, my brokenness, my hurts, my, my fighting through, God helping me to persevere, my dependence on the Holy Spirit. Those were the things I was, I was reflecting on. That came out in the beats that I picked. That came out in the hooks that I had. That came out in the songs that I wrote. And um, that's why you'll kind of get the vibe that you'll get from, from Growing Pains, because that's where I was. Well, with City Lights, when I wrote that, I was out. Like, I was working at World Impact, working with dudes in the hood regularly, always dipping through my hood. My, I got had homies getting killed. Like, so I was in a rah-rah type mood when I wrote City Lights. Well, that reflected in the music. I don't want to say I'm growing. Because I know that sounds corny and everybody be like, man, he growing, that just means he ain't doing what he used to do. I'll say I'm evolving because I, I think evolving means that change is really happening. And I will say that change is happening in my style and what I'm doing. Um, and not because I'm saying, oh, let me change things so I can reach more people, a broader audience. But coming from where I come from, I, I only appreciated one style of music. I almost didn't really know any other styles of music existed. Well, since I've been a believer, I've been exposed to not only different styles of music, I've been exposed to Thai food and freaking cough. I mean, 
tea, all types of stuff I never even messed with prior to being where I am right now. So I'm hearing songs and I'm like, dog, I like that. I like guitars. You know what I mean? Like I like, you know, this sound. I, man, my wife I have, have I be paying, playing a pop station. I'm like, I like this song. I like this song. I think it's a joint by an old girl. I think her name is Demi Lovato that came out. That was called Skyscraper. I, I love that joint. Like I'm like, ooh, you know what I mean? So I think I'm just experiencing, evolving, and changes happening. And I'm just kind of just going with the flow. I'm just doing what's there. And um, that's that's why you hear some of the sonic, sonically you'll hear some differences in this album. Because honestly, I am evolving. Yes, I am changing. Um, I'm not leaving what I was, but um, I'm I'm appreciating more things, and that's coming out of my music. Uh, this is Sideboard. For those who don't know, on the City Lights album, I actually went to Shane and Shane website, went to their contact, wrote them a message saying, I would love to work with y'all. Please hit me back. They didn't hit me back. But I'm saying that to say that's how much I like Shane and Shane and that genre of music.